This is a short feature demonstration of our off-grid irrigation system that we designed for our nursery and mushroom log operations. We needed a lightweight, portable irrigation infrastructure system that could run independently from grid electricity. This system in this video can operate with 12 DC solenoid valves with down to the second interval accuracy and is powered by the sun. This saves us the worry and hassle of checking and replacing batteries and lets us rest easy knowing that our system has power and can function properly without our attention for extended periods of time. We don't own the land where we run our nursery and mushroom log operations, and making the investment to dig a trench, lay conduit, and run power to our locations didn't make sense given our uncertain land tenure. This system has allowed us to literally pack up and go, literally within a few minutes, and be back in operation at a new location without installing expensive or energy-intensive infrastructure. We know that a lot of land stewards face similar circumstances, so we wanted to share this system in hopes that it can help you create a lighter, leaner, and more nimble growing operation. All right, guys, now we're going to show you the under the hood look at the off grid irrigation unit. So come on in, let's check, take a look at this thing, see all the features it's got. First off, it's in a Husky uh, 50 gallon tote, so super heavy duty. Got big old locking fat locks here on the side. Very test free for being out in the field. So this, val this unit currently has eight valves. We've got uh, the bucket tray in here that's capable of holding extra parts, and right now is holding our solar panel and our rain sensor. So we don't have this hooked up on poles yet. But we'll set that outside for now so you can take a look inside. So we've got a six valve controller right now just for this demonstration, but ultimately we could have a 12 valve controller mounted right here on the lid. We've got three valves wired up to show you how this thing operates. So again, this is fully programmable down to the second. So you could be running a greenhouse, you could be running a nursery system, you could be running a market garden, all off grid, um, wherever you don't need power or wherever you don't have power rather. Um, so just to show you how it works, I'm just gonna run valve one manually. Select this guy real quick, and then we'll pan down to the valve on the outside. And DC valve clicks, and then a few seconds later, it should come on. There we go. And, and I'll turn that guy off. So this is all running off of two nine volt batteries. And those are being charged, topped off every day by this solar panel array, which we can set up on a pole or put on the lid of this unit. And these wires can be run out through these charging ports. That's the great thing about this type of tote is we have actual ports here meant for uh, full, full uh, like 14 gauge extension cords. So we can run our wires out through here, house them in conduit eventually to protect them from pests. And then, you know, they have the panel up here on the roof, sensor on a post, or have both of them mounted up on a post, but that way all the electronics inside are fully protected. We can batten this guy down, throw a lock on it if we so please, and our unit is safe. Good to go. Now we're going to talk about the portability of this unit, which is one of its great features. It's very lightweight, um, very easy to move, and very easy to take out in the middle of the nowhere, wherever you need to have uh, timed irrigation function. So one, it's really easy to roll across terrain. It's got this nice handle for pulling it behind you while you move. It was also designed it with a, uh, a bulkhead unit down here and a three quarter inch valve on the outside that accepts a standard three quarter inch garden hose so that you can turn off the water flow from the outside, disconnect your hose as needed. And then you can basically just move this unit wherever it needs to go for your application. So once we've done that, the whole unit's ready to rock and roll. All we have to do is hook up the hose, pull this puppy out, and then we're good to move. Thanks for watching. If you would like a copy of the PDF we put together with all the parts in this build, along with photograph step-by-step -step instructions for putting it all together, or if you'd like us to send you one of the solar panel units completely assembled and ready to wire into your system, please click the link in the description below and come see what we're up to over at 7th Generation Design. Have a great day.